Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby Higginson and I thought that I would do a video talking about anxiety, a little bit about my experience with anxiety, um, and just things that often come up when I'm leading women through emotional wholeness and freedom from things like anxiety and shame. So really quick, I want to touch on the difference of stress and anxiety are not the same thing. So I think of stress as like that feeling of physical tension that you feel in a certain situation where maybe you have a big test coming up, right? Or maybe it's one month where your paycheck isn't gonna be as much, but anxiety is that all-consuming, intensive, excessive feeling of worry, fear, I'm not okay, and it affects your life in a completely different way than stress does. Um, I've struggled with anxiety my whole entire life um, and it's kind of this feeling of sometimes I have anxiety and I don't even know where it's coming from or why I have it. I just know that I don't feel okay. Um, I'll do things like bite my nails or uh, maybe like my heart will be racing or um, I just feel this angst that like I can't get rid of and it's a horrible feeling. Um, and so, yeah, I've come a long way in working through anxiety and I'm going to share with you some things that have helped me. So just to let you know, I have some notes in front of me because 21 weeks pregnant and my pregnancy brain is like so real. I'll just completely forget about what I'm talking about. So hopefully this will keep me on track. Um, but anyways, what I've realized with anxiety is usually when I have it really bad and it's nonstop, it's somehow related to shame. So, there you go, just gonna recenter my camera. So, when I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, sometimes it's linked to an area in my life where I have shame, where I feel like I'm bad. Um, you know, that feeling of embarrassment, that feeling of, um, you did something wrong, you're bad. And so I've really had to go, the more I've worked through shame, which I'm gonna do another video over shame, the more my anxiety has left. Realizing that you're not bad, you're loved. Just because we mess up as humans doesn't mean that we deserve to be punished and all of that. So anxiety, not everybody struggles with anxiety. And this was a big eye opener for me. So. If I struggle with anxiety, there's a reason why I do versus somebody else who doesn't. You're not just born that way, we're all born the same, but throughout our life things happen to us and we create code books, a code book in our mind of should we have anxiety, when should we have it? Things happen to us um, individually and we all create different mindsets and um, beliefs about things. So I'm going to give you an example of this. Um, my little puppy is just walking back and forth. Don't mind him. So money. Finances has been like a huge thing that I've struggled with. Um, I've had anxiety with. Whether I don't have enough or it feels like I don't have enough or whether I've had plenty getting married and having a successful business, I still can get anxiety about money. And so whenever we have anxiety, there was a certain point where in our life where we didn't have it and then we accumulated it and out of an event something happened so for me i had to look back in my life and think what was my experience with money and where i grew up how did my parents see money right because as kids we learn from our parents and how did i make my mindsets about money so for me growing up we always had enough but um like one of my parents did have a lot of anxiety about money all the time and the other one was pretty chill. But the one parent that had anxiety about the money kind of created this atmosphere of we can't spend too much and it was just always high stakes, even though they always had enough. And so for me, I was really good at saving my money right away because I was in constant panic of I'm not gonna have enough, I'm not gonna save enough, etc. So then I, created mindsets in my mind of there's never going to be enough money's really high stakes if i don't have enough money i won't be okay right cuz as a kid my my parent was so worried that he, that they weren't going to have enough money i was like okay well 
that must be like really bad if you don't have enough money you're not going to be okay and i just kind of picked up beliefs of then along the way, being in college for so long, I'm never gonna have a lot of money. Money doesn't love coming my way. Um, just beliefs like that. So then I had to go back into those moments where I made beliefs about money and break that. So that looks like um, the same thing that I do with, with emotional triggers going back. And especially if something happens when you're a kid, you have to go back and give the kid in you love and compassion, tell them it's gonna be okay. And so then we can break the mindsets and assumptions that we have about money or whatever it is and move on. Um, I developed anxiety with everything, whether it was a test um, for school or college. My back is killing me. Um, whether it was a test um, whether something would break on my car, um, in friendships, if something, if there was like a problem, I would get tons of anxiety and then that's when shame would come in of I'm wrong, they probably don't want to be my friend anymore, just a lot of like really high stakes things. Um, I had anxiety about like I can't dream, I can't do anything that sounds fun. I can only do this job because it so at the time i was going to school to be a teacher so at the time i was like well i can only be a teacher because that's the only thing that's practical so anxiety and shame really held me down for the first like probably 24 years of my life thinking i can't really do anything that i want to do because i'm not equipped and there was just always a lack there was always this poverty mindset and with poverty mindset I feel like anxiety is so easy to come in the door because you never feel like you're going to have enough. You never feel like you're going to be okay. And so it's this constant anxiety. One of the biggest things that I learned from my life consultant that was a life changing is I was telling her that my husband and I were having issues regarding money and regarding um, how we should spend money and uh, pay off debt. And I was just telling her I don't feel like him paying off debt is a priority and it felt like at the time even though this wasn't the whole story that he just wanted to go into more debt and she was like here's the thing even if he wants to rack up 100 grand on your credit cards or go into debt that much which he would never do but she's just saying you can still be okay um and i was just kind of in shock and i'm like no how can you think that that i can still be okay um but it's the reality, it's the kid in me that's freaking out, the one who's made all these mindsets about money. And so I got to go on the journey of realizing this is not as high stakes as I think it is. And I had to learn to be okay when it came to money. Now money is not as big of an issue at all. Recently we had this like bill um, and it, I thought it was in like 3,400 and they handed us a bill for $700. And I was like, okay. We have to pay it. It's not high stakes. Like God always provides. This is this is it. And um, I just paid it and I laughed it off and I moved on. But I mean, a year ago I would have freaked out, or a few years ago I would have freaked out. So anxiety doesn't have to ruin your life. And when you have anxiety all the time and you don't know what it's about, it's probably because you haven't gone on the journey of healing your internal emotional world. And you haven't healed the places that you have pain and the more i've gone in the journey of healing my childhood healing relationships healing how i see myself self-hatred all of that my anxiety has completely gone um and then when i get it i have tools and i know how to do it so i wish that i could share everything that i do in my sessions with my clients with my girls but i don't have enough time uh, so I hope that this gave you an insight on anxiety and maybe why you're struggling with anxiety and maybe you can on your own go back to moments in your life where you created mindsets about things that is creating the anxiety that you're having. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.